thank God and acknowledge God, the Lord Savior Jesus Christ, for just allowing us to be at least intuitive enough to stay together um, when things, you know, kind of fell apart in a lot of places and uh, we didn't have a, a lot of answers, had more questions than answers as far as where we would go in, in, in life, let alone this music industry. We managed to have the wisdom and understanding to know that we're better off together than we are apart. And uh, it's paid off. And um, this is probably one of the proudest moments of my life. Uh, I'd like to also acknowledge my mother, Nathan's mother, my wife, Sharonda, my son, Ty, who is here. All of my good friends and family who have uh, come to share this occasion. I mean, the beautiful thing about this is that some of these people I haven't seen in about 10, 15 years. And it's even deeper than the star itself. It brought true love and true friendship back together. And uh, this, is a, this is a great, great, great moment. And I would like to also send a spiritual shout out to Mr. Khalil Roundtree. Who was our first role manager and somewhat of a father figure to us. And um, I know he's looking down, smiling, with his big chains on and his big cigar. <laughs> and um, this this is just a, I, I, I can't explain how happy I am. This is one of the happiest days of my life. I thank all of our fans who we affectionately call them soldiers. We thank you so much for, for being here and, and for those of you who are there in spirit and, and, and everything. We thank, so, we thank you so very much. Uh, I appreciate it, thank you. Wow, um, I concur with Sean that God is definitely good. He, um, he blessed us with the understanding that we needed to bless the world with, with the gift that he gave us, and that's, that's the gift of music, the gift of song. A lot of people don't know what goes into you know, recording a Boys to Men song, but if you look in at us right now and you can see straight through us you can you can see that our hearts our hearts bleed music um, we do this for one reason and one reason only and that's because we love it and we love to be recognized for the the music that we give I mean it's the best feeling in the world to even be able to 20 years later be standing here in front of everybody and, and being appreciated which means that we did our jobs and the job that we did is memorable. Um, I want to thank everybody that's, that's been a part of our lives for 20 years, those who are distant and rooting for us, those who are here and fighting for us, um, everyone who came out to bless us with their presence. This is, this is a, an incredible, an incredible situation and you know, we're going to take it just like we take everything else. And that's like a blessing. Um, Khalil Roundtree, he was not just like a father. My dad, um, he sent me on the road when I was 15 years old and the only way that he felt comfortable was because Khalil was with us and he is not, not ever, it's not a day that goes by that we don't think about him. Mr. Michael Bivens, I was a dude, I was a dude from the projects. You know, I, 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 was, I was eating dollar 25 sandwiches and quarter juices you know what i'm saying and uh, the opportunity the friendship the brotherhood the the prowess the vision all of those things are are, are just looked at and, and and i admire it and i look to in in the future be able to hopefully do the same thing for other artists um my brothers my brothers my brothers man nate sean and mike We've been through a lot, man, and the ups and downs are crazy, you know, but the beautiful thing about being here right now, okay. the beautiful thing about being here right now is that I know that these guys feel the same way that I do about music, about love, and about God, and that right there is what binds us. That's the tie that binds us, and as long as I say this all the time, as long as there's good, real music in the world, Boyz II Men will do our best 
to reach deep down in our souls and give that to you to the best of our ability. If we mess up every now and then, please forgive us. Everybody does. But um, if we're successful and continue to be successful, we ask that you root for us because we are, we are trying and definitely pushing forward to be the ambassadors of real music, real love songs, and, and just artists all around the world who want to express themselves with an artistic value. I want to thank our families, our kids, our friends, and everybody that's here. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, how's it going, everybody? First and foremost, I would like to thank our Lord and Christ, Savior, Jesus Christ, man. Without him, I promise you, none of this would be possible. And if you don't know him, please get to know him. Accept him into your hearts today, please. Because trust me, there is a God. <laughs> Seeing the four of us on stage today after 20 years, there's a God. You know, just being able to breathe and be up here, it's, there's a God, man. So please just acknowledge that God. I would like to now acknowledge our parents, man. You know, we love you guys so much, man. I haven't seen, wow. <laughs> I haven't seen Mama Gail in so long, man. I have not seen Miss Stockman, Mama Stockman, nobody in so long, man. But I do love you guys, man. Don't ever get that confused. I love you so much. You know that. To see Biv, man, Quadri, E. Safi, Bab, Jimmy and Jim, man, Terry Lewis, man. Oh, my God. And all of our friends and family out here today, man. <laughs> wow. Trust me. I'm going to smile for the rest of the year. I'm, I'm going to smile. I'm just going to wake up every day. <laughs> I promise you. You think I'm joking? <laughs> I'll send you a picture every day on the email. I promise you. I mean, really, man. This is, this is a true blessing, man. To be up here with my three brothers back here. Man, I love you guys, man. I love you guys, man. Don't ever get it twisted. So y'all know it, man. I'm a 40-year-old dude telling three other dudes I love y'all. <laughs> so that's love. <laughs> so God bless y'all, man. I'm going to pass the mic over to Mr. Nathan Barnes. How you supposed to feel today? Are you excited? And I didn't really know what to feel because this has never really happened for uh, for me or for my guys before. Um, I'm one that's used to situations. I like to know what I'm getting into before I get into it, and this is undiscovered territory for me. And um, I, I I don't really know what to say. I just know that um, 20 years ago. There were people in my life that decided to make choices. And um, this is when I was young and didn't really know the choices to make myself. And um, mom thought it was important for me to uh, do music. And um, I was young, didn't know any better. Eventually I wanted to play football, do something else. My mom, and um, I'm sorry. Take your time, brother. Everybody out here has made a choice, some kind of way to be a part of Boys to Men. And um, 
We appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts.